It's not too early to start making plans for spring break or even your summer vacation. And our next guest has some great insight on what makes flyers happy when traveling. Travel trends expert Kelly Soderlin from TripIt is joining us. Welcome. Thank you. It's so nice to be here. You have analyzed more than a million flight ratings to understand what makes us so happy. So what what makes this happen? Let's talk about fair class. Is first class first place? You know, on legacy carriers, it is. So on all of the major carriers, first class comes in first, followed closely by business. But then surprisingly, what we found is that basic economy uh, fair classes actually beat uh, economy in a flyer satisfaction. Oh, what? No, I wonder why that is. Is it, you're just happy that you're saving some money and you're still comfortable? Or yeah, you know, really, what we found in our study was that. Um, um, flyers really want to feel like they got a good value for their price. Yes. And oftentimes in economy, you feel like you're kind of in a no man's land. You're not really sure exactly why you paid extra than basic economy, especially if you're carrying on and the, uh, and the airline doesn't charge you extra for a carry-on bag. Let's talk about amenities when it comes to flying. What kind of amenities really make us the happiest? Now this is really interesting because we found that um, seat comfort is actually six times more important than quality Wi-Fi. Uh, that's followed very closely by uh, good service, and then things like food and beverage are less important. Oh yeah, you always like those extra couple of inches in yeah. to move around. So a as long bit. as you're comfortable, you've got good service, you're pretty happy. So right now in the winter, it, not a ton of travel happening right now, or is there? Are, are we happiest when we travel during the winter time? You know, this is a two-pronged um, kind of question because I think that what happens is that a lot of business travelers fly during this time. There's a lot of conferences and there's also less crowds. There's fewer crowds at the airports and travelers really do not like to be stuck in crowd. No. We, none of us do. And so during the off season, you're not only paying less, but you're also dealing with fewer crowds. When it comes to travel out of McCarran, we have, I think we have a great airport. Um, where is the best place for us to travel to? What are the best airports to travel through when you're coming out of McCarran? Absolutely. So we really found that when you're flying domestically, uh, travelers like to get in and out. They want their airports to be transactional. And so in that case, they like small airports, alternate airports. McCarran's great for this. You get right in, you get right out. Um, when we're flying domestically, Traveler or internationally, excuse me, when we're flying internationally, travelers really prefer large, grandiose airports that are architecturally stunning. Um, so Doha um, in Qatar was the number one airport for oh. international travel. Now, is there a specific flight route that makes us the happiest that we like to go from point A to point B that you find the happiest travelers? Yeah, and so what we found is that travelers really do like short flights, so three hours or, or fewer. Yes. Or um, just Conversely, we really like long flights, so uh, ultra long flights, which are more than 12 hours, because again, the service on those flights, uh -huh. if you've ever f flown one of those ultra long flights, is really unbelievable. And so the service makes up for the time in the air. It's like we like one extreme or the other. Exactly. It's just really, really interesting stuff. Thank you. And if people want more information on this, where can they get? Yeah, um, you can go to tripit.com, um, Happiest Flyers. We do an annual survey every single year where we look at all of these travel, um, self-reported travel ratings. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank Great you. information.